Hi and welcome back. Here we are in Blender where we left off. What we're going to do here in Blender is we're going to prepare this mesh to import into Unity. There's a few things we need to do before we can do that. There's a couple things we need to rename, we need to rescale this mesh, and we need to bake some normals onto the low poly mesh. Now first things first. We need to get rid of things we don't need. We're keeping the cube for now, I'll tell you in a second. I know I said that before, but I'll tell you eventually. Now, we're going to get to renaming some of these objects. The first thing we need to rename is the root object. Unity takes this root object and applies the name to the armature in the game. So I'm going to rename it Skeleton. And for the sake of consistency, I'm also going to rename the actual Skeleton, Skeleton. Now, this right here is the high poly mesh. So, we are going to name this high poly. This is the low poly mesh. Not to be confused with this that says low poly. Those are just the low poly eyes. So let's rename the low poly mesh to low poly. And while we're at it, just rename these to eyes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new window and go to the UV image editor to prepare an image for baking onto the mesh. Select the low poly mesh, go into edit mode, and with all the vertices selected, you'll see that the UV map is laid out here. We're going to click New in the new window. And rename it to anything you want, normals, bake, whatever. Now, with that all set up, we want to go back to object mode. Select the high poly mesh, then select the low poly mesh. Go to the render settings and scroll down to bake change the bake mode from full render to normals, check selected to active, and then hit bake. You should bake out a fairly nice normal map. Now when we imported the mesh we got a few materials that imported. We're going to export these into our Unity project now. So we are going to select the skin that imported with us, go to image, save as image, and uh, we are going to put it into our Unity folder. We are going to do the same for the eye. and for the normal map we just baked out. With all that sorted, we can go ahead and hide the high poly mesh. And we're actually going to clear it out of the main object here. Now, what we're going to do is close out this window. We don't need it anymore. Now we have this high poly mesh, but he is way too tall for Unity. The reason we kept this cube is because the cube is about 2x2 two two Unity units. So let's just level this on the ground, select all of this, and we are going to scale it down to about as tall as the cube. By default, a capsule in Unity is two Unity units tall, and the standard thing is just use two Unity units as, you know, a base human mesh height. So that's a pretty good scale for Unity. Now what we need to do is we need to rename some bones. In Unity, when we import this guy, we're going to want to attach him to the human avatar that controls all the humanoid animations in Unity, so you can swap animations between any humanoid character. To do that though, we're going to need to rename some things to make this simpler for us. In edit mode with the armature selected, we're going to s rename these four bones in each hand. Not the thumb hand though, that one's fine. So if you go into bones, I'm going to rename these all to left hand 1 through 4. An 
and on the right hand do that as well. Be sure you're renaming the correct bones. You can always redo these later manually in Unity, but it's just easier to do it right here when we have a visual reference. With that all settled, we can go ahead and rotate this guy so he's facing the Y positive direction. Currently he's facing Y negative, so he will be facing backwards in Unity. So we're going to rotate on the Z axis 180 degrees. Now, we should be prepped for importing into Unity now. Select everything that we're going to import into Unity. File, Export, Autodesk Desk FBX. Navigate to your Unity Assets folder. And I'm going to name him human.fbx. Now, check selected objects and make sure the forward is positive Z forward. Everything else should be fine. And click export. We should be done in Blender. So open up your Unity project, whatever it is. It might take a second to import the person. And you see we have this island thing I set up beforehand. You can import it whenever you want. But click on the human model we just imported here go to Rig and select Animation Type Humanoid. Avatar Definition can be created from this model and you'll want to configure him. Apply. If it asks you to save the scene, go ahead. Now, with the renaming we did, everything should actually just be set up and ready to go. There shouldn't be anything we need to mess with here. If you go to Muscles, you'll see that it's all nice fully rigged. It'll do all this weird crap. And even the fingers are rigged correctly. Just hit done. Now, if we drag our person into the scene, oh, the scene's a little dark. Let me just up this a little bit. I'm just gonna make my own my own ambient color there all right you see this guy he had his you know his basic textures applied to him but he looks pretty flat but that's why we made the normal map so select your guy and under low poly you'll see that he has his material here you want to go to normal map and drag in your normals or select it and you'll see it looks really funky, but that's because we never set our normal map as a normal map, and Unity will tell us this, and has a handy little button. We just click that to fix that. Now, our character is currently facing away from the sun. Let us just rotate him a bit so that we have a better view of what we're working with. Alright, so uh, from here you can edit the settings, like say you wanted to make a person covered in oil. Yeah, he's really shiny there. But, personally I prefer, you know, actual human skin. So, you can mess with all these shader settings and get what you want. You know, change the color, make him red. Whatever you want to do, but this guy is fully rigged and you can import any animation on him that has been ran through the Unity avatar thing and it should be good to go.